Well, g'day travelers and welcome back to the channel. This time we're in the beautiful south coast town of Huskisson. And not every adventure needs a swag. This time we're doing it in a luxury. We've got a motel room. And we want to show you around here because it's pretty special because... We got married here. We got married just down the road at Himes Beach. Had our reception at the Husky Pub. We're going to have dinner tonight. Now we're down here at the lagoon. It is low tide. A little bit later today, we're going to come down and we're going to try out our new paddleboard. Now, that's the part of the video where you're supposed to have a perfect body glistening in the sunshine. G banger so far up your crack that it tickles your tonsils, but sorry guys, you're going to get us on a paddleboard. Anyway, let's show you around. We're going to go and get some brekkie now. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, brekkie don't come much better than the humble toasty, but it's not always easy to, uh, to make yourself one when you're on the road. You can't always light a fire and put the old jaffle maker in and uh inverters are uh, they're pretty hard on the battery but santa was good to us and he bought us the new 12 volt toasty maker from kick ass so we're gonna give this one a crack for brekkie this morning They're smelling pretty good, Dal. Smelling very nice. Hey, how good is it? Toasties on the side of the road. Not bad, is it? <laughs> I only eat the oh, <laughs> This is the life, folks. <laughs> how good does that look? Pretty good. Oh, the proof is going to be in the pudding, but I tell you what, they look the goods, eh? And how good is having a toasty on the tailgate of the year? That's pretty right? damn good. You know what, I reckon you guys should be able to do this too. So, we've been having a little bit of a chat and we thought, you know what, we're going to give one of you lucky buggers a chance to win a 12 volt. Not this one, because we made a mess of that one. We'll give you a clean one. But, later in the video, we are going to give you a password. Now, you're going to have to remember that password because you're going to have to enter it in our next video when we do a review of this. So, what we want you to do is write the password down right now. Now, you will need to be a subscriber to our page to win. So, if you're not, hit the sub button right now and you'll need to be an Aussie resident. Write down the password and next week when we put up our review video of the 12 volt Toasty Maker from Kickass, we're going to ask you to enter the passcode and your favourite filling and one of you lucky punters is going to get your own slice of heaven on the back of your tailgate. Well, that's Brecky done. What do you reckon we uh, head on down to Himes Beach? Sounds like a plan. So down to Himes Beach, folks, this is uh, where we tied the knot and has arguably the whitest sand in the world. So let's go and have a look. Here's what it's like. It's pulled up on the side of the road and uh, an old fella selling uh, some cherries and uh, we go like that. Fresh cherries. We didn't get any in the store at Christmas this year, so give us a crack at those cherries. How good are they? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Lost me cherry. Ha happened years ago. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, we were going to show you Himes Beach, but they have closed it because it is full. So uh, I guess we're chucking the Yui. That, uh, that sucks a big uh, bunch of uh, balls, doesn't it? Hey, Bill. We'll come back down in the unpicked Yeah, so we've made the mistake, guys. We forgot when we, uh, when we penciled this one in that it was the unofficial four day weekend. Every bastard talks about four days work the weekend. I worked yesterday, you worked yesterday. So uh, we weren't the lucky bastards that got the four day weekend. But uh, looks like we are suffering the consequences of everyone heading down the south coast. So anyway, sorry guys, we would have loved to show you Himes Beach. Um, yeah, I don't know. And to school holidays as well. Uh, trip, trip ain't over yet. We might try and sneak down. 
later. Speak down later or early in the morning or, or something. Yeah. Anyway, back to uh, back to Husky and a um, little bit early to check in yet, but uh, I don't know. We might go down and uh, pump up the paddle ward and uh, make a couple of gooses of ourselves. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm gonna fall so okay. hard. You got the, oh, we're stopping here. Get that. Uh, got the g-string ready? Uh, I don't know. I got have that string, but they're gonna get some cheeky bum shots. Mate, you gotta have a cheeky bum shot on YouTube these days. It's uh, apparently where you I get don't all know your how likes. How attractive the cheeky bum shot's no. gonna be, but there will be a oh, cheeky bum. Come on, we, we need those subscribers. <laughs> Twenty-four thousand views of Noon's cheeky bum coming right up. Oh dear. <laughs> So it is absolutely packed down here. We've had to uh, park on the other side of the road, but uh, not too bad, the lagoon's just over there. So uh, we'll get the paddleboard out, get that set up, and uh, and go and show you our gracefulness. Dean's got your change room up. Getting your itty bitty, teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini for your cheeky bum shot. Yeah, sure am. See you on the flip side. <laughs> Well, yeah, after the uh, Karua episode, we're not going to forget to slip slop slap today. You uh, notice I'm having a bit of trouble walking, guys. I didn't slip slop slap on my uh, legs yesterday, and uh, right at the moment, it hurts to breathe. Absolutely bloody bugging. I reckon paddleboard champs. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit, a bit of practice to go yet, eh? A bit of and uh, I told you I wanted cheeky bum shots. So I uh, stuck the GoPro mount on the back of the paddleboard and not the front. So a uh, bit of ass cam. Anyway, now we've got to work out how to uh, deflate it. It was a bloody effort to get it up. Now I have to work out. I think it's easier to get it down. I hope so. I think it's, is it this yellow thing to? I think so. Jesus! Yeah. Well, possibly the best part of the trips, folks. We have just arrived at the Jarvis Bay Brewing Company. And Noonie's a little bit excited about that, aren't you, Belle? <laughs> yes. She's so a excited. little bit excited. Look at, look at the grin. She can't contain herself. All right, come on. Uh, let's go get you a beer. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> This is the life, folks, kicking back cow and calf pale ale and a uh, potting lamb Sauvignon Blanc. So, uh, cheers. 
Oh, fruity. Bloody good brewery here at Jarvis Bay, and uh, bloody good beer, but uh, we do have to drive back to town, so this will be the last. I reckon we get head back, have a swim, and then uh, down the husky for dinner. A lot to be said about a chilled weekend. Relaxing. Well, so just headed back down to the main street of Husky now. We've uh, checked back in the room, and. Uh, it's sort of kind of nice not having to set anything up for a weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Not that we do it this way very often, but uh, yeah, for a short getaway, it's nice just to have a room. You can park the car, walk to the pub. Uh, we're going now to buy some sunglasses, aren't we, dear? Yes, because I lost mine. So um, I tell you what, that Jarvis Bay Brewery, I would have uh, happily sat there all afternoon, but. Uh, we did need to come back and look, it's uh, double the merit points and look, we got to be responsible. But uh, look, And honestly, I did have a sip of Rob's beer and I didn't want to spit it out. <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> that means bloody good beer, that's what that means. So, and it was bloody good beer. So anyway, we're going to go down, we're going to have a swim now. There's a, uh, a saltwater pool down here just near the Husky pub and uh, Neen loves it because it's got such a high salt content she tends to float. So anyway, we go for a swim, get some new sunnies, and then uh, to the pub. Ah, oh, that's the ones. That's the ones. <laughs> Here we are folks, stalled up like a couple of poodles going to the dog show. And uh, we're at the Husky having a beer while we're waiting to get into the pavilion at six. So, uh, and they've got Jarvis Bay, complete with a uh, coaster stuck on the bottom of your glass. They've got the uh, Jarvis Bay XPA, so just like still being at the brewery. Pretty good too. I just finished a cracking meal at the, uh, at the pub and we thought we'd uh, grab an ice cream and head down along the beach, but hey, have a look at this. You see that? The queue for the ice cream shop goes down the arcade, in the ice cream shop, and then you come out. So uh, I think we'll uh, go for a walk first, day. Eh? So, must be bloody good ice cream. Taking a walk along the foreshore, and uh, the local council are uh, kind enough to leave. Where the bloody hell is it? these little bags for your doggy doo doo. Look yeah, what someone's picked done. Up the doggy doo doo. But they've left it on the pole. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> I gotta go. Can you hold a bag? Spare pole over here. Bloody grubs. <laughs> Choices to make. Back down to town for an ice cream or across the road for a gelato. What's it gonna be? I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, 
I don't care. Ice cream or, ge or gelato. I have that mind either way. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Alright. Gelato. Gelato van looks pretty cool. Full chrome plated. Like. And it's got twinkly lights. <laughs> I like shiny things. Yes, it does. We made our mind up yet? Yes. And ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. Back to town we go. <laughs> well, we've got the ice creams finally, and I have this set, never seen an ice cream that melts at such a rapid rate. That's <laughs> raining ice cream. Well folks that'll just about do us for the night, we're just down here by the water, it's at flowing an absolute gale but um, it's uh, got to be still 25 degrees I reckon, it is warm as have a little drinky poo, a little nightcap down by the water and uh, that'll be us for the day and I will see you at sunrise in the morning. Cheers guys. Well, good morning, folks. A beautiful Sunday morning here in Huskisson. I'm just down on Sharknet Beach, just off the main street, and uh, watch the sun pop up, and you wouldn't be dead for quids, would you? So uh, I reckon it is time to head back now and see if Noonie's awake and get myself a coffee before we go and find somewhere for brekkie. Oh, you would not be dead for quids. Well, folks, we've got a bit further than we did yesterday. We've got past the point they turned us around, so it looks like we're going to get to show you Heim's Beast this morning. Well, folks, here we are on beautiful Heim's Beach, right on the very spot that we saw the night. A bit romantic. And talk about romantic, we said you could win a tasty maker. So, remember at the start of the year, I said you need to write down Password, what's the password? Baked beans. Baked beans, so remember that. Baked beans, guys, we'll need to sub to the channel. So if you're not, hit the sub button right now. Write down baked beans. And when you watch our Tasty Maker review video, just enter the password, your favorite filling, and you'll be in the running to win one of those new kick-ass 12 volt Tasty Makers. And remember, only open doors are your enemy. Well, folks, it would not be one of our videos if we didn't go to the pub, the brewery, and the bakery for brekkie. This is living. Crazy folks, this pond here is absolutely chock a block with grim and uh, you're not allowed to fish, but uh, Neen's got to chuck some pellets in and have a go at this. This would be good fun if I was allowed to bring the fishing rod in.
Well, folks, that's where we're going to leave it here at the Jarvis Bay Maritime Museum. Hope you enjoyed our quick look around Huskisson. And good luck with winning the toaster. You know the drill. If you like what we do, hit that sub button. Don't forget to check us out on all of our other socials. And we'll catch you all somewhere on the next episode of We Went That Away Adventures. Cheers, guys.